Welcome back to my second stock drift build. This car, I really like how it looks. It is my favorite of the Acuras, and it, all in all, it's not that bad of a drift car, but for some reason, it has horsepower, it has wheelbase, like a really long wheelbase for a car this low, but for some reason it still doesn't drift as good as I think it would for how much it has. It's rear wheel drive, that's good. Long wheelbase, that's good. Horsepower is fine for a stock car, but for some reason the tail doesn't like to get out as much as I would have hoped. It kind of likes to wuss out a little bit in the corners. Or just kind of slide. It's not. It's not a really drift car. It likes to slide, and it does really good in circuits though, which I don't know what happened to it when you wanted to actually drift it. It just kind of said, "Meh, I really don't feel like drifting." It. You kind of have to really, really push it to drift. It's. It's not natural to this car, even though it's. It's a Japanese car, and. It has horsepower, long wheelbase, like I was saying earlier. And I don't know why, it just didn't like getting points as much as I thought it would. I guess more muscle cars that are stock do better, even though the Javelin, I'm pretty sure in its run, didn't do as well as this. I just think the Javelin was a little bit lower in horsepower in the last video. I think these videos will be put up more often than most of my videos, and I hope to have more videos up more often, but I don't know. I have kind of a busy life with work and everything, so I hope I can get these up pretty fast, so maybe one a day or something. But see, this car, it doesn't like to keep longer drifts, though. If you, if you drift it, it like to s either straighten out in the end of that or just kind of stop it, but th that turn wasn't too bad it it pulled pretty well I just think it needs to be I think in the next Forza Forza 5 when it comes out I hope they need to improve this car on drift a little bit stock but it is kind of a circuit car so I really don't blame them and I can't get points squeezed out of that turn right now I don't know why that turn just is screwed up for some reason when I'm drifting it in these stock cars. When I'm in a real uh, tuned drift car, it does actually really, really well over this um, NSX. And we're coming up to the end of this video, and this car got 35,665 drift points. I hope somewhere I can put this up, like where I can have separate scores.